here crabbing in Virginia. And I love to crab back home in Florida, but I've never had the opportunity to crab with a professional. It's just like what I've learned along the way. Up here, they have a lot of current. So you're gonna see they use rebar along the bottom to weight this trap down. This is called a full trap. It's gonna have an opening in the bottom. The crabs can go in and then they're gonna work their way up to the top and they get hung in this trap. It's called a full trap. Right there, that's where your bait goes. Then you're gonna have a float and your rope. We're gonna jump on the boat and we're gonna go crab. And then we're gonna go somewhere and watch how they cook their crabs up here in the Northeast. This is like the home of the blue crab. Let's go see how they do it. Okay, you guys, and we are off. What's your name? Trey. This is Captain Trey. This is Jay Kyles. That's Paul Thigpen. And one of the main reasons I wanted to go crabbing on this trip is because, A, number one, blue crabs are one of my favorite thing in the world to eat. But secondly, Paul has never been crabbing. Never. So anytime you think of blue crabs, typically you think of the Chesapeake Bay, yeah. which is where we are. Yeah. Came up here, we've been fishing with Jake. Yesterday we were out, we smashed the sea bass and flounder, ribbon fish, all that. First day we caught cobia. Now we're after crabs. This whole series is just about showing you Virginia Beach, the Chesapeake Bay, and the culture of the Northeast. Yesterday we had this big cold front move in, which is why the temperatures have dropped. And uh, he's already got some traps out. We're gonna bait some traps, we're gonna put them out. He said, during this time of the year, you don't have to wait long. So we'll put them out, wait a few hours, we'll pull them back in, and we'll see what happens. Here's all of our carcasses from yesterday. And because you can't get this big old flounder carcass, into that bait tray, we'll just throw it in here, just like that. Bring this down. Always remember to close your door. If you don't, you're just feeding crabs. You're not actually catching them. This is where you put all your bait. How many of these? This is what all the, the crabbers up here use. That's a Manhattan. They call it a bunker. It's extremely high in oil. It's got a good scent to it, and the crabs love it. go. Oh, I like that. That's super cool. I like the way that works. Good deal. Now, they've got rebar on the bottom. They've got, these are called coal rings. This little hole right here is called a coal ring. That's where the smaller crabs can get out. And this is a zinc. That's a sacrificial metal that is grounded to the trap. And what that does is when a lock, when electrolysis tries to eat this trap, with that's electricity will, will deteriorate the trap, this is a sacrificial metal and it will actually eat the zinc. So when your zinc is gone, you gotta put another zinc on, otherwise your trap starts getting beat up. So when you're crabbing, what kind of area are you looking for? I was just looking, looking for up out of the deeper water on a bank, shallow, shallow up along shoreline. Cool um, deal, cool deal. Crabs like to hang out. Awesome. There you go, Jake. And they have a lot more current here than I'm used to. Go ahead. And you have to get into a rhythm. How often do you check your traps? How often do you set your traps? Uh, every day. I, I check them every day, except Sunday you can't crab on Sundays. And uh, every now and then you gotta pull them out and pressure wash them, keep them clean. And uh, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna catch crabs if you got dirty traps. Really? One of the big things about putting bait up top, those crabs can actually get on it and start eating it. And they say that the sound of the clicking claws attracts other crabs. So imagine if just naturally out here there was a carcass 
where the on the bottom and the crabs are eating it and they can hear the clicking of their of their claws that draws them in that's one of the benefits of putting a carcass in the very top Okay, trap number one is getting ready to come in. It's got a really cool puller that pulls them in. Over the rail, oh man, look at that. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. So a legal crab in Virginia is a five inches. So you take a, you got a measuring stick, you grab a crab, point to point, he's legal all day long. It's five and a half inch crab, number one, goes right in the basket. You just sort through them all. That's a female crab right there. I'm not gonna keep any of those a day. You can see if you've got a wider apron, painted fingernails, I'm not gonna keep any of those females a day. Got a Jimmy crab. Five inches. Female. You just gotta sort through all your crabs. It's time consuming, but you gotta have the best, best crabs. Comes up onto the deck. Oh man, nice crab. Look at this. Into the sorting tray. So how do you tell the difference between a male and a female? What what do you is it a Jimmy? It's a male? Yeah, Jimmy crab is a male crab. Right there, you can tell. He has a longer, longer apron right there. Okay, you tell me again. Like here? Yeah. That's a longer apron. That's a male right there. The wider apron on the females, and they have the painted you up. You got one, Jake? Yeah, that's a female right there. So the rounded is the female, and the, and this is called a what? It's a, well, they, we call them sooks up here. It's a female sook, crab, sook? she crab. Yeah, sook. 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 And when they get pregnant, call them busted sooks. We don't we don't uh, keep females around here. I got you. So we're just, we're just So that's the difference. This and this, hands down. And you say paint and nails. I heard you say it. Yeah, paint painted fingernails. Yeah, so that's the red tip. Yeah, yeah and then uh, you can see this. That's a rusty crab right there. That's, that's going to be a heavier crab they've been what, in. What does that mean, rust? They're going to taste better. It's good oh, eating crab yeah, right there. So here, more meat. It's been a while since yeah. the shed is yeah. shell. So these crabs, these crabs shed. They have what's called an exoskeleton. They don't have bones. Their skeleton is on the outside. It's an exoskeleton. As they fill up with meat, they need to shed. When they shed, they have a bigger shell, but only a little bit of meat. And then as they grow, that meat fills in. The fact that this is brown and rusty means it's been in the shell for a long time. It's full of meat. It's gonna be great. Does it make the eat. meat like a sweeter taste or something? It doesn't have anything to do with that. It just has to do with it being a lot of it. Oh, oh, I got So if it's light, like, oh, um. It's not hollow in there. It's fresh. I got you. So for example, this one's not bad, but you see that one's much lighter. There's right. not a lot of rust. You see how this one looks dirty and rusty? Right. That means it's been in there. And if you feel, this one feels a little bit lighter than this one. This one feels nice and dense and heavy. That's what you're looking for. Man, you are crushing them. Yes. Oh, that's a big one. Look at that. Now, nice. we were just talking about a rusty belly. This one's nice. He's good and dense, but he's not very rusty. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Put my name on that one. Big old one arm. Dude, that's Popeye. Popeye the blue crab. There was five legal Jimmies in that pot. Look at that, right off the gate. Jimmy on the top. Coming to the hill. Man, look at that. Holy macaroni. That's a pot full of gold. All right, so this is our 20th trap. He has 80 more to pull, but uh, I'm hungry. What a great time, man. Listen, I really appreciate you taking the time to bring us out. Jake, thank you so much for setting this up. Now we're gonna head on back. We're gonna show you how they clean them and cook them here in the Chesapeake Bay area, Virginia Beach. Good eating crabs.
We just got our crabs, we got a shower, and now we are at Murphy's Irish Pub. Word on the streets is they've got the best crabs on Virginia Beach, which is kind of shocking to me. I don't know how an Irish pub has the best crabs, but they do. Let's go in and we're gonna show you how it's done. Yeah! You guys, cap tray is awesome. All right, man, quit. You know what they call that? That's called a bucket of love. Oh, snap! All right, you guys, we're back in the kitchen. This is the man with the plan right here. This is Chef Lester. And I was just asking him what kind of seasoning he uses, and I was totally expecting him to say Old Bay, but what is that? J.O. seasoning. J.O.? Yes, sir. Always learning something new here on Deer Meat for Dinner. This is what we're looking at. That is a live blue crab. That's what we just caught. Now, check this out. See, all we did was make him bite his own pinchers and hold them together. That's a trick that I just learned today. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I'm gonna hold him and I'm just gonna put him out of his misery real quick. Quick and easy. That's as fast as you can do that. Now, take the top of his shell, pop it off. There are his gills. Take those out, take one of his legs, put it under there, and pop that apron out. Wash that out. Now you have a clean crab. If you look in this basket right here, we have a lot more clean crabs. The reason I did that is back home, this is how I clean my crabs. I don't, you know, I'm not a big gut eater. Drop a thumbs up if you are. Some people love eat. Do you like eating inside of the crab? No. Nah? So you like it like this? Yeah. What's up? We're on the same team. I like my crab, my crabs clean. The reason being is I feel like if you cook them with the shell on them, I think they, they've got the, the poop and stuff in there and you're pretty much just cooking them in their own poop. And the seasoning doesn't get on the meat. If you clean them, you're cleaning all their guts out and you're putting the seasoning on the meat instead of just putting it on a shell and then cooking the crab. There you go. But you know what? To each their own. I'm all about the freedom of opinion. And if you like eating them whole, great. How do you cook them? Show me how you cook them. So we take out and uh, put them in this basket. We have a big part of Watch this. Steaming. We're going to cook a whole bunch of them. Whoa. Put them in there. Now, see how he's all angry? Watch this, see how he's angry? Let him bite himself, and then you got him. You're like, you're in the figure four, Jack. So now that they're steaming, what do you put in your seat? Like, what's in that pot? Uh, beer, celery, and J.O. seasoning. Beer, celery, and J.O. seasoning. Yes. Any particular beer? No, we normally do that Murphy's Ale. Murphy's Ale? Because it's Irish pub, so wow. it's a Irish flavor. There you go, man. <laughs> so cool to be here and be a part of this. Whenever you think about the Chesapeake Bay, first thing I think of is blue crabs. Blue crabs, yep, and local fish. And local fish, oh my gosh. This is, this is a dream come true, y'all. All right, you guys, now we're gonna cook them up. These are the ones that are already cleaned. And just get them in there nice, and you're gonna make little layers, just like this. Make one layer across the bottom, and then you're gonna season it. Then you put another layer on top of them. Mm -hmm. Keep going yeah. until the pot's full. Go ahead and season them up. That's your J.O.? I gotta taste that. Whoa! Just set it and forget it. That's it. This is what we call a full-on Chesapeake Bay feast, y'all. That looks so good. Chef, you are so awesome. Thank you for taking the time to do this for us. Now it's time to eat, y'all. That is what an amazing, like if you're a crab eater, that's heaven, okay? I love picking crabs, but I want to see the master. This is Captain Jake. Come on, which one? Pick one and show us how you clean them. All right, let's start off with this little guy right here. I'll break the crab in half. All right. I go to the 
back fin. I pull that out and stick my finger right down in there with it so the whole piece of meat comes out of there. A little bit of shell right there on the outside of it. Now we have a big chunk of black fin crab meat. Go ahead and dip that in my juice there. Amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you've learned a little bit and just enjoyed the video. I love you guys, but I got a lot of crabs to eat. It's gonna have to beat me to it. So for that, take care, God bless. And we gone.